The point of diving into a lake is not immediately to swim to the shore. It's to be in the lake, to luxuriate in the sensation of water. You do not work the lake out. It is an experience beyond thought. It's about, it's about being one and two at the same time. It's being themselves, but part of something bigger. It's about seeing love in each other's eyes and to belong at home anywhere. It's about frying pancakes and crunching that every day becomes shimmering with the one you love. It's about hands that want to keep each other, and bodies that want to fall asleep and wake up together. It's a matter of course that is obvious for you. Not being able to imagine one's life without the other. It's about having each other, and to always be together. It's just about love. It started that we wanted to go somewhere, and we wanted to go somewhere north, because the north is such an important theme in both of our lives, whatever the north can mean, with a capital N. And we wanted it to be by a lake, because lakes have been important in both of our lives, and it's something that we have in common. And it holds meaning to me because my great-grandfather, who was from Sweden, his name was Emil, and that's who I'm named after, Emil Emilise. There were letters that he wrote to his brother and his father who immigrated to the United States before he did. So he was in Sweden, he was writing letters. And one of the letters that I've read, I haven't read them all, he talks about going to swim in Lake Malarin, as if that's a normal thing I'm sure that they did all the time. And this letter that I read was after we had already decided to come here to get married and had made the arrangements and all of that and reading that letter and understanding kind of the significance you know that the river is everywhere that there is no difference between people that lived then and the people that live now and that everything is connected As we walked in, one of our wedding songs started playing overhead. Oh. <laughs> that's that's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna get like teary eyed. It's a sign. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> I'm old. It's okay. It's okay. It had to happen someday. <laughs> so, what do you think of IKEA? It started with those seven words nearly six years ago. Now here we are in Sweden, about to get married in an ancestral summer home on a lake that has significant meaning. It couldn't be more fitting. This also happens to be the place where Ikea is from. So, you know, 
Extra meaning there, right? Crazy how that works, eh? And I really put the A, because Canadian. <laughs> I'm sitting here overlooking Lake Malloran, writing this letter. The view is perfect. The weather's perfect, you're perfect, this day is perfect. Seeing the islands in the lake and the light glisten off of the waves is incredibly moving. It really is the best place to get married. The lakes are incredibly important to both of us and hold so much meaning. It really is the perfect place to start our lives together. We're not doing our own vows, but I want you to know that I promise to always protect, support, and love you. I promise to do my very best to build the best life that we possibly can together. We're partners in life, and I can't think of anyone better to do life with. I want to live a happy and fulfilling life with you, and I will do anything to accomplish that. I love you so very much, Emilisa, and I always will be there for you. I've written about this before, but it still holds true. In mythology, it is said that humans used to have four arms and two heads. Very scary beings. The humans in this state were so powerful that they threatened to conquer the gods themselves. Because of this, Zeus split them in half and cursed them to forever roam the earth looking for their other half. I feel like I found mine, you. Together, we can achieve great things and start a wonderful family and life together. I can't wait to unite with you and begin our lives together. This is our greatest adventure yet. We've been to so many places and done so many things in the world in the past five and a half years. We've been to New York City, DC, Ottawa, Toronto, Hamilton, Minnesota, Italy, and now, Sweden, but it's not about the places. It's not the places we've been that I like the most, but who I've had the experiences with. Going to these places with you has been absolutely amazing. All of these experiences have been incredibly moving. I know I don't show it all of the time, but each of these journeys has had a profound impact on me. I cannot wait to embark on this greatest one with you. I love you with all of my heart, Emilise. You and our relationship mean the world to me. I cannot wait to begin our lives together. I love you.